How's it going everybody? Welcome to uh, this second video on this channel. Pretty exciting stuff happening. Uh, so this video, um, I decided to start a larger park uh, in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. Uh, I wouldn't call it a mega park because it's a 100 by 100. Um, so that's like a pretty medium sized park, I guess. So um, uh, this park is going to be called Heavenly Hills and I'll just keep uploading um, as I go along. So, uh, this video is just me sort of building the park entrance, and then I made sort of a water feature, um, terraform thing, uh, behind it, where guests walk around, and it's, uh, it's, it's supposed to look like a oasis of sorts. So, right now I'm just sort of building the entrance to the park, which is just, uh, it's supposed to look like a standard building. Um, I just kind of used the, um, standard pieces the wall roof tiles that are uh, in the base game um, and another part of this is that um, if you if if you watch the last video then you know that uh, I typically don't use uh, custom workbenches or anything I just use uh, the scenery that's in the game because um, I don't know about you I don't know has this ever happened to anybody else leave it in the comments if it has but uh, I've had a lot of issues with downloading workbenches from any designs and stuff where uh, it'll crash my game if I try and use the pieces inside of it I'm not sure what that's about if if it's just too much for my game to handle or what but I'm using open RCT 2 um, and periodically if I use the custom scenery the game will crash so that's why I'm not using any custom scenery. That's why I typically don't anyway. And also, I just try and like to, I like to try and get creative with the scenery that's in the game. However, I will admit there's probably not enough roof pieces. Um, like I'm gonna be using a lot of this gold roof tile because there's really not a whole lot of uh, roofs to go around. So, um, a fun uh, feature of open RCT2 is that there's a lot of things you can't get in the regular game, like an invisible entrance. So I actually made an invisible entrance underneath that uh, sign, and now you see I'm sort of doing the terraformed uh, waterfall oasis area. Um, this was a this was a difficult task. This is something I'm not very good at, if I'm being honest. This is the part of the game that I don't, of the building part that I'm not great at. I'm pretty good at building roller coasters. I'm pretty good at the scenery and making buildings and making stuff look natural. But this is one thing that I had a tough time with. Um, trying to build this um, waterfall and it is supposed to look a little bit um, artificial because I feel like when you go to a theme park a lot of times you'll see this artificial waterfall that is like that uh, blue liquid that no one knows what that is um, like at a if you've ever been to like a mini golf course uh, and you see like the water that's blue and you're like what what chemical is that and is it giving me cancer but that's what this is supposed to look like. Um, I think I did a pretty good job. It does look kind of artificial. So I feel like that wouldn't be out of place at a regular theme park. And, uh, you know, um, so I th this uh, was a pretty standard procedure. I just sort of tried my best to make it look natural. So that's done. And the last thing in this video will be building the uh, information kiosk. I always put an info kiosk right at the front of the park. So that's what this is. And I, um, in this case, I just... Uh, designed a building to go around it um, obviously the info kiosk is only one tile wide so I built this building around it that's uh, I believe three by three so just to kind of make it look a little more interesting than just the info kiosk um, naked so that's what this is um, and I guess that's kind of the end of this video it's a short one but um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time